friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am participating in the 12 days of Christmas that is hosted by Jackie at Crafting in Mimi's World and basically it's 12 days of ornaments. So you will be seeing all kinds of ornaments in the next 12 days so be watching. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here is DIY number one. So for this DIY, I started off with one of these sleds, this um, window cling from Dollar Tree, and then my antique Waverly wax, Waverly antique wax. <laughs> so I start off by removing the hanger because I did not want to get wax all over it. And then I am going to wax this sled with my Waverly antique wax. And I also, after I get done, I do the same thing to two more sleds for the next two DIYs. And um, they were all from the Dollar Tree. And so basically I just use my brush to brush on the wax and then I use a paper towel to wipe off the excess. And I do that to all three. The other two are different styles of sleds, um, but I think they are all just adorable. So I loved them when I saw them. I was so excited and had to get, I think I got two of each. So after this was all done and dried, I took my window cling and I am just going to use a glue stick and I am going to um, put that all over the back of that window cling and put it right on the front of that sled. Now you can use Mod Podge if you'd like um, or you could probably use spray adhesive. I just chose to use the glue stick. I find that it works pretty good and you don't have to worry about the wrinkles and all that stuff. And it doesn't show in the back. Sometimes Mod Podge, you can see through the window cling, you can see it. So then I am taking these um, pieces from a floral pick from Dollar Tree, and I am just going to hot glue them right on the top, as you see. I took this little bow that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to hot glue that right in the middle. And then there's these little red flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. I don't know what kind of flowers they are. They're on a pick of stuff. Um, and I'm just going to hot glue a couple right on top of that bow. And then, um, then I'm going to add that hanger back onto the sled. And I do use a tapestry needle to poke it through just because the end of that was kind of frayed and it was kind of hard to, I would have had to cut it off or something. So I just thought I'd use my little needle and then just tie a knot and that was all there is for this one. And I will show you the final reveal at the end. So this uh, challenge is called 12 Days of Christmas Ornaments. It is hosted by Jackie at Crafting in Mimi's World and Melissa at Melissa Makes It DIY. And we they will be having 12 days of ornaments with different creators adding uh, what they make. So make sure you check out their channels. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit those notification bells and keep watch for the next 12 days to see what everyone creates. And here is DIY number two. So for this one, this is the other sled. I um, took this little ornament from Walmart and I'm going to hot glue that. And that window cling, I believe is also from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use my glue stick and glue that on the front as well. If you are new here, welcome. I am so glad you are here. If you are liking what you see, I would ask that you would hit that subscribe button, become part of our family, and help me reach my goal of 5,000 before the end of the year. 5,000 uh, subscribers, that is. <laughs> and then I take my um, little twine hanger and I poke it on through. And then I am going to take a little bow that I got from... Um, Dollar Tree. I'm going to put it on the side of that ornament because I want to cover the hole. And then I take these two little picks from a bag of uh, pine cones and little greenery picks from Walmart. And I'm just going to hot glue them right behind the bow. And that's all there is going to be for this one. And I think this came out so cute. This really matches um, the colors on my tree this year. My theme is just kind of a green and black. And I'm just loving these. So here's DIY number three. So for this one, I took this other different kind of little uh, ornament from Walmart. I took a garland pick. I'm making it into a wreath. I am just going to... Uh, 
make sure it fits and then I'm twisting the edges around itself. And then after that, I am going to give it a haircut. If you guys do this, make sure you do it over a garbage can or a plate or something. Um, this makes a huge mess. And I was brushing this stuff off of me all day long. Every time I turn around, I'd find another one of these <laughs> little uh, pieces from this and it made a huge mess. So um, yeah, make sure you do it over something. As you can see on my scissors, they were all over my scissors. They it stuck to my scissors for some reason. <laughs> then I just used my hot glue gun and I am just gonna hot glue that right onto the front of the sled. And then I'm gonna take that little ornament seat. There I am trying to get it all off of me. <laughs> oh man. And I'm just hot gluing that little ornament inside of that wreath. And then after that, I am just gonna take one of these little um, poinsettia, um, I don't know what to call them. They're just, they're kind of made out of material. And I'm just going to hot glue that to the top. Then I'm going to put the hanger uh, in it as well. And that's all there was for this one too. I absolutely love the way all three of these came out. You will have to let me know what you, um, if you like them, what you think, and which one was your fa favorite? Which one did you like the most? And I'll show you the reveal here in just a moment of all three. But make sure you uh, check out the description. In my description box, I'll have the links to uh, the host and the co-host, as well as the playlist to see what everyone created for you. And make sure if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends and family. Maybe that will help me reach my goal. And I will be back on Friday with another video. So until then, have a great day and I will see you then. Bye-bye.